Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the derivative of f of x equals 4 root of x over x squared plus 2x. And I'm going to use the quotient rule you see down here for finding that derivative. Let's see how we use the quotient rule. So we have f prime of x equal. And if you notice on the quotient rule, the first thing we have is f prime of x, which means the derivative with respect of x of your numerator, which in this case is x to the 1 over 4. I'm going to change that fourth root in this format. Times g of x times x squared plus 2x. And then we're going to move to the second part of the quotient rule, this one, which says keep f of x, keep the numerator, which is going to be x to the 1 fourth. So let's change it in this format. Times the derivative with respect of x of x squared plus 2x. And that is the numerator of the quotient rule. And the denominator is g of x, which in this case is x squared plus 2x squared. So my next thing here will be to do the derivative. And the derivative of x to the 1 fourth will be 1 over 4. x to the 1 over 4 minus 1 is negative three fourths times x squared plus 2x minus x to the 1 over 4 power and the derivative of x squared plus 2x is 2x plus 1 over x squared plus 2x to the second power which is a good form sometime but let's do some simplification here and the first thing I'm going to do is uh, simplify this term of the numerator, which is nothing else than x squared plus 2x over 4x to the 3 fourths. So I change that negative exponent in a positive exponent minus. Now here on the second part, I'm going to come with the same denominator, which is 4x to the 3 fourths. And I'm going to copy the numerator, x to the 1 fourth times 2x plus 1. And obviously, since I came with this denominator, I'm going to have to multiply the numerator by the same quantity. Okay, so we still have the, that equality we start with. Don't forget the denominator of the, this original derivative. A more simplification here. In fact, we can do here, uh, move the 4 times x to the 3 fourths as a denominator for the derivative. And here we have also x squared plus 2x squared. And let's see the the numerator of this derivative is going to be x squared plus 2x minus, and here we have a 4. Then we have x to the 1 4 times x to the 3 4. That is x to the 4 over 4, which is nothing else than x times 2x plus 1. And we can do more simplification. And we have x squared plus 2x minus 8x squared distributive property here. Minus 4x over 4x to the 3 fourth, 3 fourth power times x squared plus 2x squared. And uh, the last thing here will be to simplify the numerator, and that will be negative 7x squared minus 2x over 4 times x to the 3 fourths times the quantity x squared plus 2x squared. And that's it. This is the derivative of the original function. You notice a lot of algebraic steps here. Uh, the calculus is pretty much done here, the derivative. If you enjoy this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.